What is going on everybody? It's Gogi time and today we have something new that has just released in the Crown Zenith set. That is this little mini tins case and as you can see it's got my favourite Charizard on the front. So Leon over there, Marnie, uh, I think that's Bay, Sonya and Hop. It's an incredible little piece of sealed product. Unfortunately I won't have one to keep sealed. But we're going to crack right into this and see if the pull rates are even better in this product. Catch you soon. Here it is. A beautiful sealed mini tins case for crowns in it. And I, I preferred showing you in the intro because it's just too close to the, the wall over here. So we're going to crack into it. Alright, so tin number one is the Marnie tin. Now I don't know if we'll get any other packs in this. And I don't know how hard, oh, they're actually quite easy to open. Um, but let's have a look. So as always, you do get a, oh, so you get a sticker in this one, which is really neat. Gotta love that. And you always get a little artwork card. So this will form one artwork. And that's number 80, 877 for more Peko. Now how many packs do you get? As I thought, you would get two packs of Crown Zenit. So we'll go through the one half slowly and then we'll go through the other half just a little bit faster. And I hope you're having a great weekend. I hope this starts off your weekend quite well and you have a wonderful time opening these products. Shinx, Pancham, Snowrunt, Grubbin and the chase for me is the Entei that is screaming out next to his volcano. That is my favorite card in the whole set. And I would love to get it graded. Later on, and I wouldn't mind a Radiant Charizard, so that would be nice. Or a V, or a V Star. Seal, Potion, Corphish. Oh, that was so close! However, I am very proud and happy to be hitting the Reiku V, followed by a Hollow Agron. Let's actually have a look at this bad boy. Beautifully centered. Oh, it's wonderful. Might be a little off on the back, but I think it could snag a 10, so we'll definitely throw that in the grading pile. So how about that? Right off the bat, one of the legendary dogs. Next up, we have my boy, Hop. And you get a sticker and cool artwork for him too. There's my two packs. I wonder how stacked these mini tins are going to be. I know that the ETBs were were full of good hits, so um, the Regilecki box is not so much. However, I didn't open too many. Seal, Potion, Aaron. Beautiful swab blue and a tan growth. So the Galarian Gallery is definitely the chase, I think, in this set. It's what you want to hit. Um, and it's what I want to hit. Trekking shoes. Love this set. Yanma. Hornyard. Krokorok. And a Pangoro. Alright, so nothing in the second tin. As we make a little bit of a mess. Alright, we're going to save those tins for last. Here's the Sonya tin. So you get 10 tins all up, guys. And I'll show you the sticker there. So I think it's just the, the trainer as a sticker, which is cool. Um, so 10 tins all up. Which comes to about, what's that? There's like 20 packs, I think. Should be right if my math is correct. Well, always nearly do too many. Rare Candy, Hornyard, Pokeball, Corpfish, Odd Dish, Beautiful Electivire, and a Tapu Lele Hollow. Um, let me know guys if you are collecting this set as a master. I think it's an incredible set. 
Um, I don't think anyone didn't like the ending of Sword and Shield. I know I loved it. Riolu, Ultra Ball, and a Perserker. Alright, 13 is done, and now we come to the fourth tin, which is Be, chilling with Hatram or Hatan. Hatana. And you get the artwork plus the sticker. Followed by two packs. I'm really enjoying opening lately. I hope you enjoyed my review on the Sword and Shield sets. I hope you enjoyed my giveaways. Don't worry, they will be uh, run soon. It's always hard to keep up with them all. Following by a Perserker. Then we have a Hollow Kyoga. Not bad. As far as Hollows go, that Kyoga is an absolute stunner. Four. Spent the day. Um, sorting bowl I mean, I've got so much more to do. Yanma, Hornyard, Absol Reverse is actually very nice. And a Luxray, gorgeous card. By the way guys, I want to let you know that I am currently in the works of having a black and white box break. It's base, uh, black and white set. Um, we've got 14 packs left with Indigo Trainer, so make sure you come in and grab those packs. now. My favourite tin is definitely this tin because you know it's got my boy Charizard on it. Look at that, that's an incredible tin. I'd probably just keep the tin as is just because it's got my guy on it. I mean the sticker's probably even cooler, hey? Yeah, that's a neat ass sticker. Love it. Gonna have to put that somewhere. Two packs. Let's see if Charizard can get us a Charizard. Really want to hit the Radiant Zard. I mean, it's it's really weird that I haven't hit him at all. Even a V. Ultra Ball, Scyther, Riolu, Young Goose, Cherubi, Gloom, and then Enamorous. Nothing there. Charizard not showing out for the team. Although I believe you get doubles in this set, in this case, so. Maybe the second one will have the hits. Friends in Husui. Oh, I think there's something, guys. Could just be a V. La Vesta, Oddish, Seal, Luxray, and it's a Mew V, the first time hitting this card. Look at that. Surely this is a $10 card. It's gorgeous. Alright, first V of the day, so nothing in that. And then we got the rest of the tins, guys. You're not gonna look at not gonna show you the contents because you've seen it already. I think the worst thing. Oh, this one didn't even come. Don't tell me. Ah, so you only get You only get them in the first lot, guys. The stickers. And there you go, there's one way to save some money. Four. Rescue Carrier, Carnivine, Corfish, Odd Dish, Seal, Crickets, Great Ball. Ah, yes, a very nice Psychic Hollow Energy. I think the first time they've made Energies Hollows, so very nice to add that to the collection of Hollows. One, two, three, and four. Can we get a Charizard? Let's go. Snow Runt, La Vesta, Tangela, Beltoy, Meowth, Salandit, and another Mew V. Okay, I'm not liking the hit so far. There's only been one good hit, and that was the Reiku. That's pretty cool. On the back, you got the whole, the whole squad. That's nice as. And then you do get some. Okay, I got, I got an error before, guys. I didn't get stickers. That was an error. I mean, trust Gogi to have an error tin. 
Guys, let me know if you enjoyed the intro where I'm standing up. I feel like that was pretty different. Meowth, energy retrieval, Shinxie boy, La Vesta, Voltorb. First time hitting a Voltorb and a Hollow Volcanian. Not bad. I mean, come on, where's the Charizards? Um, we're getting closer and closer with the release of Scarlet and Violet. I believe it's in March, or end of March. Which also means we're getting closer and closer to my wedding, and I hope you guys want to see that video. I will release it on my YouTube also. Leon, and a Stoutland V. This has been a terrible opening. Look at this one, this, this sleeve, this actually opened. All right, well, this has been a terrible opening so far. Let's see how we go. An absolute mess. The one thing that I recommend, if you are opening a case of these, make sure you have a bin handy and a big table because tins are everywhere. Or just be a little more organized than I am. Shinxi, Wailma, Young Goose, and a Pangoro. I'm not really feeling it at the moment, guys. If you're at home, please at this point, cross your fingers, cross your toes, and pray for Gogi to hit something good because we need a hit. One, two, three, and four. Energy. Electric, Purloin, Grubbin, Screlp, Iliopatile, Wooloo, yeah baby! Right there we hit the Radiant Charizard followed by an Enamorous, hello. Wow, it's incredible in person. It really is. Look at that. Actually in very good condition. Very good condition. So you can bet I'm adding this to my grading pile. I'm so happy we hit him. All right, next up. Second last little tin. If we can get it open. There he goes. Got him open. All right. Second last tin. And then we can get to the end of it, eh? It's been a ride. Um, I'm so stoked that I hit that Charizard. Been waiting to hit the bad boy. Meowthy, Wailma, Corpfish, followed by a Dunce Pass, very nice, and a Hollow Calyrex. So I've actually never hit this Dunce Pass either. So. Hitting cards I haven't hit before, that's always a good thing. Hope you guys are enjoying the breaks lately. Um, obviously hoping to have big, big ones this year, like the black and white is going to be huge. Um, coughing, odd dish, salad, coughing, followed by a Rotom V, not bad, not good. Alright, we got one more lonely tin left and it's lucky last. Okay. And I do hope you enjoy the content, guys. If you do, please smash the thumbs up. It's always good to see that you guys are enjoying it. And if you're not, please let me know. I can take the criticism on board and change it for the better. That way I'm opening things you guys want to see. Fish Sharp, Grubbin, Skrelp, Hilliop, Wooloo, Shinx, Vacuums, and a Perserka. All right, last pack, Lucky Last, sitting lonely by himself. Can we get some last pack magic? It's been happening lately, so it is possible. Me Tang, Chatsot, Mr. Mind, Sunkern, and beautiful Voltor, followed by a Hollow Zamazenta, which I've never hit before either. So there you go guys, I hope you did enjoy that. 
make sure you go and grab your mini tins in store or from your local store. Um, I'm sure they'll be better than mine were. I'm actually pretty excited and happy with that. So we'll grade those two cards that I love. And for now, happy collecting.